This is one of thousands of stories in southeast Louisiana right now. What makes us a little bit different is that we are working with families who have been impacted by the Great Flood of 2016 who are also living with autism. It took exactly 10 minutes for rain on my house to go from being at about an inch to being about three feet. I wasn't prepared for how much water was going to be coming. I mean, the water level got, the water level got to about, actually the water level got to right here. If you look at this water line, especially down here at the bottom, it's all the way up there. So it was over my head out here. My name is Shelly Hendricks and I am the president of Unlocking Autism. Without organizations like Unlocking Autism and the Baton Rouge Area Foundation, we would be lost. There's a joke among autism moms that my child hates noise but is the loudest person I know. Yeah, the shelters were never an option. It's very difficult for our families to be in a large shelter. Our children can get overstimulated. Um, they can have a lot of sensory issues. People who have been through this flood are already stressed to the highest degree. It's just terrible to have to add another stress of an autistic child, and the child doesn't mean to be stressful. We learned from Katrina that if we can take a family and we can at least get them into an apartment, um, they can start to quiet down and calm down and begin to refocus on rebuilding their lives more quickly. My son Riley is two years old. Uh, he was diagnosed with autism whenever he was about one and a half. He doesn't make a lot of eye contact. And, you know, he's, he's a sweet kid. He's very loving. He'll come and hug you. And he's missing a lot. Of, of what he had before and he, just, he doesn't know what to do with himself anymore. My daughter lost everything in this flood and I know material things don't mean a lot but when you're an autistic child and you need that regimen and you need structure and you need stability those things mean a lot even her little Sid the Science Kid DVD meant a lot to her. My son um, having a, though it be temporary but a space that he knows he can set his dinosaurs up, he can put his things, and he doesn't have to keep cleaning everything into a bag to put it in a corner. You know, but him having his own space for a little while before, as we rebuild, it's, it's gonna be an immense help for him as far as calming him down. Because of Unlocking Autism, we were able to get another house and be able to start again and start over. And it literally means the world to me and to my family. I actually had to evacuate myself, which is amazing because I do not live in a flood zone. And when it stopped, the water, um, the debris line was right here. And I certainly never thought that the Amy River would wind up in my front yard. I live about four miles away from the river. So we were very, very close and, um, and we were blessed with a dry place to be able to bless others. I, I don't, you know, I, I mean, I just met her and, and they're helping us like this. And I, there's no way that I can be grateful. That there's, there's no words that I can say that would compare to how I feel for what they're doing for me and my family. For anyone who has donated to the Baton Rouge Area Foundation, whether it's something that you've gone through yourself and it triggered a need to give or you're just a giving person, I just want you to know that your donations are so appreciated and they're so needed and they've been able to help us actually move very, very quickly in an extremely difficult situation and we're so grateful that we're going to be able to get these families into a quiet place. We're going to stick with them and help them rebuild and, and they got us started and we're just as grateful as we can be for it.